everyone, this is Martin from the Yuma County Main Library. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to make some origami cranes. So, let's get started. Okay, so first we're going to start with a square piece of paper. And you're going to want to have the colored side on the top. If you don't have a colored side, that's fine. Uh, so, you're going to start off by folding the paper in half diagonally and you're going to want to line the edges so that there's no overlap. And next, you're going to do the same thing on the other side and fold it into a triangle and then unfold that. Now you're going to turn the paper over this time you're going to fold along the other edges. Like so. And then you're going to turn it 90 degrees and fold it again. Then we're going to grab the two edges here and push it in to make a diamond or square. And you're going to want to have the open side, the one here, facing you. Next, you're going to grab the front flap on the right side, fold it down the middle, and then crease it. And then on the next, or on the other side, you're going to do the same thing it down to the middle and now you're going to grab the top part and then fold it along this line here all right so you're going to flip it over and we're going to repeat the same steps as last time Fold it down to the center, crease it, and on the other side, alright now we're going to flip it over again, and you're going to have this uh, top flap here, you're going to open that up, and then you're going to open these two up as well, so you're going to be back to the square. And now, using the creases that you had made from the previous folds, you're going to open it up using only the front piece of paper. And you're going to slowly push it, pull it upwards, and then you're going to squash it down. And then you're going to use the creases that you had used or made from the uh, previous folds again to guide these folds. And again, you're going to turn it over, open it up again, and then you're going to open. This one will be a little harder, but it's the same thing. Okay, so now you should have a diamond shape like so. You have these two flaps up here and then these two legs down here. So on the side that has the opening here, you're going to close that. And then you're going to do the same on the other side. So now you're going to have, looks like two little peaks here, and then two flaps on the bottom. Now these flaps, you're going to move them up, and then crease, flip it over, repeat. And now you're going to have a shape that looks like this. So these two are either going to be 
one is going to be the head and one is going to be the tail. So the way you can find out which one is going to be the um, which one's best to be the head is you're going to hold down on one end, pinch it, and then on the other you're going to grab the tail or the head, whichever one you decide it to be, and then you're going to pull. So it looks like this is going to work. Now you're going to turn the opposite side into a, a head and the way that you do that you're going to pinch the back of its head and then pull this down and so it'll look kind of like this. And that's pretty much it. You have a flapping bird.